Puma, Puma, can you hear me? No. Yeah, reception is pretty bad in this place. Listen, no. I said listen. Where are you, dude? You've been gone for a week now. I have to say, it's pretty spooky to be alone in this mansion. Where are you? What's going on? You and Chicky did what? Yeah, I got it the first time. That was a rhetorical question. No, 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 don't put her on the phone. Hey, Chicky. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, I'm still there. Listen, Boomer, I'm happy for you guys, and I... No, I won't build you an epic dong as a wedding gift. Just get back here as soon as you can, okay? I can't do all the work by myself. Okay, bye. <sighs> you won't believe what those idiots did. They got married. That means I'm still flying solo until Boomer returns from his honeymoon. Oh, I totally forgot. Sorry. That's better. Now, what did I want to talk about today? The Northern Barons. Yeah, right, thanks. Ah! Who let you in? I hope you don't mind. I let myself in with my master key. That's a little bit creepy. I heard you may be looking for a replacement sidekick. Who told you that? And no thanks. I think I will be fine by myself. But I was looking forward to this. Do you want to make me sad? I have a habit of deleting Battle.net accounts when I'm sad. Do you want to make me sad? You wouldn't like me when I'm sad. Okay, okay, you can stick around until Boomer is back. I will never leave you. What did you just say? Nothing. Alright. Today we will talk about the Northern Barons, our next horde only zone. So let's go to our observatory and talk a little bit about its backstory. What can I tell you about the Northern Barons? Weirdly enough, we are talking about the Calderai Empire again. I really like those guys. What we know today as the Northern Barons was once a large forest area in the Calderai Empire. You already know how this song goes. The first legion invasion and the great thundering happened and turned everything on its head. The forest area changed into a savanna and was mostly unhabitated up until the third war. After Thrall became war chief of the Horde, things changed in the Northern Barons. But back then it was known as just the Barons. That's right. With the Horde's arrival in Calderai came also a group of settlers and farmers to the Barons. But they aren't the only inhabitants of the Northern Barons. Quillbores, Harpies and Centaurs are also stalking the desert. But I know what all of you are asking right now. What happened after the Cataclysm? The former Barons were hit pretty hard by Deathrank's return. The Great Divide, a lava-filled chasm, is now dividing the land into the Northern Barons and the Southern Barons. And that's all I can tell you for now. Maybe you guys remember our friend Rexigor from our Orc Starting Zone review. You may also remember that he received a recruitment letter for the Northern Barons. So why don't we follow him around today? That's a great idea, you are so smart. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Our story starts with our arrival at the Far Watch Post, where we finally deliver our recruitment letter. How long has it been since we got that thing? It has been exactly 108 days since you got that letter in your ARC review. You came up with that number way too fast. Our new friends here have a problem for us to solve. The Razor Min Quillbores are constantly raiding the post and attacking the caverns departing from it. Those heartless bastards even tried to burn our wolves alive. So let's warm up by getting our supplies back and wetting our blades with their blood. Hmm. I want more Quillbore blood. Good thing we are tasked with protecting the next caravan heading to the Gwaldorm farm. Yeah! Eat my lad, you dirty pigs! Boom! Headshot! The people at the Grawldome farm are really happy to see us, because the Razor Mane are even more active there. So why don't we help them out too? A good plan would be to take out their leader. But we don't even know who that is, or where he is. So we capture one of the pillagers and press him for information. We could punch or kick him in the face now, but WWLD, what would Lunk do? He would tickle him. So let's do that. The pigman quickly gives in and tells us the name of his chief, Tortusk. So let's head over to his hideout and deal with him. He's easily disposed of. Oh, you are so strong. And while we're there, we also stumble upon a weakened Kodo. 
I'm sure the guys at the Golden Farm would be happy to see it again, so let's help it out with some grains. That's all it is to do here. So let's head to our next stop, the post simply called the Crossroads. Yet again we have to defend the caravan. Weirdly enough, we are attacked by burning blade goons. Yeah! Eat my lad, you bastards! Boom! Headshot! It's here at the crossroads where things get interesting. First we check in with the orc Sergor Darkfall. She wants us to prove ourselves by hunting the various beasts of the barons. The zebras and lions are no biggie. The raptors are easy pickings too. And don't get me started on the harpies. How easy was that? Our final test is the white lion Echeyaki. I'm getting flashbacks to our days in the northern strangle form. Oh, I liked that episode. Do you like the big pool I put there? Yeah, that one was nice. Good thing you bring up pools. After making Sagra proud, we run into Tonga Rune Totem. He tasks us to check out the different oases in the barrens. These places are busting with life and we have to conduct several experiments there. For example, at the stagnant oasis we figure out that the waters of the oasis are able to reanimate dried seeds. Now that's neat. The whole storyline about the oasis plays into the story of the zone's dungeon, the Wailing Caverns. So I won't talk about it here, since we are going there in the next entry of my dungeon diary. That's not too shameless of a plug, right? There's one thing though that I want to mention. Healing waters aren't the only thing we find at the pools. Centaurs of the Kolga tribe made their homes there too. If you remember, it was the centaurs that drove our Tauren friends out of their former home Desolace. I know it's not the same centaurs, but I think it's time for some good old vengeance. And we have to be a real nuisance to the Kolga, since they even send reinforcements from Desolace. But even their powerful warlord can stop us. Alright, I guess this is as good a place as any to take a little break. What do you think? I could listen to you all day. Why the hell are you so clingy all of a sudden? It creeps me out. I just want to be your friend. Your best friend. Quick, fade to black. Welcome back to Roo's Easter Egg Hunt. Did you know, if you look at the specific rock formation right outside Hammerfall in the Rocky Highlands, you can see the famous internet phrase, LOL. That one made me laugh. Or should I say, it made me lol? <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't it? Well, let's move on. Our journey continues in the goblin town of Ratchet. We actually know these people. Well, kinda. These goblins belong to the Steamwheel Cartel, the same guys that are running Booty Bay. There is even a boat traveling between Booty Bay and Ratchet that you can catch there. There are also a lot of things to do here, so let me summarize them for you. What we get to do here is basically us taking on the life of a pirate. We get to do such fun pirate things as starting a bar brawl, committing mutiny and going on a treasure hunt. Arr, isn't that fun? Okay, I apologize for that. I thought it was pretty funny. Of course you did. I also have to mention that we run into our old friends of the Rancher Company again. I didn't really understand why we had to fight them. Something about their oil rigs polluting the environment. There's not much more to say about them. So let's wrap things up with our last encounter with the Burning Blade cultists. While we were busy playing pirates, those guys took the chance to ambush another caravan and to take its members hostage. We hurry to the Dreadmist Peak and stop them from sacrificing our friends to a mean demon. To make sure that that kind of thing doesn't happen again, let us escort this caravan for old time's sake. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. Could you tune it down a bit, Blizzard? But I thought you like to shoot them. Why can't you make up your mind on what you like? I thought you liked me, but I think you don't anymore. That's not true, Blizzard. I, I don't hate you. Really? That means you love me, right? No, not that either. I mean... I like your work, and I'm a fan of your games, but that doesn't mean I love you. But everything I do, I do for you fans. And still you're not satisfied. Why can't you make up your mind? It's just human. We're never fully satisfied, no matter what. That's just what we humans do. Listen Blizzard, you are a billion dollar company. You can't appeal to everyone. 
So stop it. Concentrate on what you think is right. People will come around to like it. So I should stop listening to you? Yeah, I mean no, at least not entirely. You have to be willing to take criticism, but don't try to change everything just because one group of assholes complained about it. I understand. That was really nice of you, Ru. I will keep it in mind. Great. And that's all I have to say about the North Barons. Do you have anything to add before we head back, Blizzard? Yes, fuck you. I'm out. Ah, she will be fine. I left a note on the fridge. What was that? I didn't hear a thing. Come on now. No. Don't leave me behind, Rue. We are meant to be together. 